Hi everyone. So in this video, I'm going to go a little bit off of what I've been doing recently. So we're not doing SFX 100 stuff today. Uh, so a little bit of background. Um, we've got a SIM um, centre and what I like to call human performance centre up in uh, with a British Touring Car team up in Northampton, BTC Racing. And we've had a problem with our OSW SimuCube I only set up, so they've sent it back to me to have a look at. And I thought it might be quite interesting to do a sort of unboxing stroke uh, investigation of what's inside and have a look at what um, SimuCube or Granity uh, have suggested might be the problem. Um, I thought it might be interesting for viewers to see what's inside one of them and if you've had a similar problem to us then maybe this will shortcut your investigations into what's wrong. So basically the problem that we had was the force feedback kept cutting out. Sometimes it cut out very quickly, sometimes it lasted a long time um, and I kept getting an over voltage error. Granity have suggested that the firmware needed updating, uh, which I can't do because now Granity doesn't even recognise it. So they've suggested that the um, braking, I believe they call it the braking resistance circuit, and the ballast resistors have broken. Um, so one thing I was told is that you might hear a rattle. I can't hear any rattles. So I'm now going to take this apart, show you what's inside, and see if we can't identify them, if they're correct in saying that these resistors are blown. Apparently it should be quite obvious. So taking it apart, I've got these four uh, cap heads, they're not cap heads, they're torque bit screws. Uh, one in each corner. I'm guessing here, I don't never take one of these apart. Can't see any obvious um, other ways to get into it. Then so that's those four screws undone. And uh, I assume there's gonna be some connections on the back of this. Okay, so there we are. That's the first thing that you see when you get in. Um, this top plate now slides out. And inside we've the bit. I'm not going to pretend I know exactly what's what. Um, but this is whether you can see that. Mark SimiCube. So this is the SimiCube board. And this is the Ioni drive board. Um, so I imagine it's these ballast resistors here, ceramic ballast resistors that they're saying could be broken. But they look intact to me. So maybe that's good news. Maybe it's not as bad as as I thought. Um so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to have a look through what's in this box so that you can see what goes into one of these. And then I think I'm going to take some photos and send it to Granity and see what they come back with as a suggestion of uh, where I go next with it. Uh, I think at the moment they're, they're thinking that I've got to send it back. Um, but that's a six to eight week lead time. And I really could do without um, having that delay. 
Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is take these off and have a look at what this power supply is like underneath. Because that's been one of the questions that's uh, not been bothering me, but just playing on my mind to wonder what sort of power supply they use to, to uh, power these things. So I'm going to whip these nuts off now. Right, so 10 mil socket. Get these off it. Bit of a crude way of uh, mounting the power supply. But there we are. So that's the Meanwell power supply that I've heard people talk about before. SDR 480p-48. Not sure if that really makes much sense to me, but in case it's a, a re interesting reference for you. Closer look at that. So actually the internals of this thing are pretty straightforward. One semi-cube board, one eye only drive board, one mean well uh, power supply, and a fan. Okay, so I don't know that I can go much further with this video now. I think what I'll do is stop here and get back to granity with my findings. See what they suggest I do next. Uh, I imagine that's going to mean sending the board to them. I'm um, hoping that they'll just send me a new board and I can swap it over. Okay, thanks for watching. I don't know if that's of any use, but it might be of some interest if you're suffering the same problem. It might be the first thing to look for, uh, like they suggested to me. Uh, apparently, if you if you see bits broken off these ceramic, or they burn or whatever, uh, then you know that's what the problem is. I haven't got that issue uh, by the looks of things. So I shall come back and update this video at some point in the future I think when I know what the actual problem was so uh, please like the video subscribe to the channel and then when I do come back and let you know what the end result was at least you can get an update and that might be useful for you in the future so thanks for watching until later